today we are jumping into the world of call of dragons a lot of people are really excited for this game as it's sort of the unofficial spiritual successor to rise of kingdoms and i first played call of dragons about six months ago when the first beta was released i believe in germany now i played it live on stream here on youtube but i think a lot of you guys actually missed that live stream because i never actually made a full dedicated video just exploring the early game now back then it was a beta i had to play using blue stacks and i also had to use a vpn but today we're gonna have a much better experience because we're playing on the official pc clients so let's jump right into the world of call of dragons and i'm gonna give you guys my first impressions my thoughts and opinions what's going on guys cheers i just had some spicy chicken fries from burger king mm, so good the prophecies had been forgotten <laughs> I haven't seen this over old grudges. Yo, this looks good. Repeating our tragic past. Wait a minute. Hatred thrived. This is a growing stronger. This feels almost like a blizzard cinematic. What is going on? Okay yo tell me you can have throwing axes in this game tell me i can actually throw my axe okay oh okay she's kicking him in the head she's like get out of my way she can, she's kind of cute though i'm not gonna lie she, she's a little okay oh oh off the cliff okay he's done though gg nah he's too slow with the cast time bro He's too slow with the cast time. Yo, he, she, she's got a horrible aim, to be honest with you. Oh, just kidding. Oh, kick him in the head, yo. Oh, oh, GG. No, what? <laughs> yo, he throws a whole boulder at her. Yo, he's pissed. This dude's getting beat up by everybody, bro. What's going we on? struggled for victory. England. Okay of the chaos to come okay okay mm. oh what's that now nah, that can't be good though darkness has fallen where'd the darkness come the from end is nigh. Uh oh this is uh this got what are those dude what is that okay they're like demons that fell from the sky i think i've seen this before isn't the fire supposed to be green dude the quality of this cinematic is actually really good like this looks really good what the what 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 what, what? that's the dragon part of call of dragons that's the dragon part i think right there Yo, give, give it to your boy. I know y'all were fighting, but just give it to your boy. He's like, not, he's not, ha he's not happy about it. Bro. We are in grave danger. That looks absolutely sick. How do Yo, we kill him. Destiny? Kill him. We're fighting Destiny, not nah, as a dragon, bro. Maybe her name is Destiny. Ooh. No. Bro, that was actually really good. Can we just appreciate the CGI team for that, boys? Oh my God, dude, that was so fire. So that's cool because that was a super high quality cinematic. And now you actually get to pick between the three characters that were in the cinematic. So I see what they were doing there. They're laying the groundwork for the story okay so we got the spring wardens faction the league of order and the wilderberg okay for the purposes of this video i'm gonna pick the wilderberg but if you guys are looking for tips and guides for call of dragons make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell because more call of dragons content is probably gonna be coming your way so stay tuned for that but for the just the purposes of this video we're going wilderberg okay let's just let's just see how this is i think i picked uh 
oh from the frozen mountains to the vast plains our conquest once stretched across tamaris okay we got dragon's maw we got mount tempest over here we got oh that's the ash fields all right with our ancestors watching over us the glory of the orcish race was forged in the blood of our enemies and mighty wilderberg was founded okay it's a very simple story okay we killed our enemies and then it's lit that's pretty much it i mean that's that's kind of what you would expect from uh from the orcs okay but all but all our pride was for naught the cunning humans and elves blocked our path to conquest and our efforts failed to bring us glory okay so they're saying that uh they had some trouble with the other factions here okay sounds about right bound by the treaty of Saithmont, we sank into the oh it went away okay darkness has fallen and as prophecy foretold the night of burning stars has brought our greatest enemy to our plan so this must be the in-game version of that cinematic that we just saw okay this is the night of the fallen there's the dragon right there okay and yet it has stirred the blood of our brothers like never before so we're gonna fight back boys okay this is kind of cool I like to see I mean the graphics here are great let's just be honest we've waited far too long conquer the behemoths of legend and Tamaris shall know the glory of Wildberg once more okay so there we are there's our cute little hut boys and girls we got our uh we got our little we got a humble little abode here okay so we're 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 feeling this is some big orc vibes okay we got Agran the shaman over here my lord I am Agran as a shaman I bring you the teachings of the ancestors okay that's pretty cool darkness has fallen upon the land as prophecy foretold the spirit of the ancestors will lead us to victory against it great okay we must learn to survive in the mist just as our ancestors did to build a strong homeland we need resources first we must build a lumber mill makes a bunch of sense to me dog all right let's go ahead and build that lumber mill we'll plop that down right there I like how the little arrows are uh look at the little arrow arrows are like little like bones or something like that all right so let's go ahead and collect that wood we got 4k wood right off the rip we have all the wood we require next we need to strengthen our wall okay this is this is pretty straightforward for a city builder so let's go ahead and build up our wall I love the theme here love the orc theme right here next we must train axemen okay are these the dudes that throw the axes like in the cinematic because okay that's that's a pretty that's tier one that's tier one I can't look at the other tiers right now but that's actually kind of lit the troops are looking pretty spicy okay looking pretty good I like the way the axemen look yeah that's pretty cool I'll give them that okay this is a pretty cool looking troop this is a pretty cool looking unit my lord a warrior from the gray claw clan has come to our city he says he saw something in the mist something real dangerous I must speak with him okay there he is Bakar names Bakar my lord I bring news from the mountains I was tracking a beast but in the mist I caught sight of a dragon get the heck out of here dog you know what's weird he calls me my lord I feel like if I'm in if I'm an orc in this game they should call me like chief or like chieftain or, or war chief or something like that you know what I mean I feel like being called a lord as an orc is like that doesn't really make sense but anyway a dragon but no one's seen one for a thousand years that's isn't that the plot of Skyrim isn't this just the plot of Skyrim mixed with the plot of uh burning crusade or legion possibly potentially I know what I saw shaman and there were these foul things slaughtering their way through every village in its path I don't know why I just started voice acting we got suspicious people outside let's see what's going on there it is dude that's a little best a teddy bear okay so these are the darklings these are the little demons these look like the these look like night uh dark night elves or something like that oh oh okay we got another cinematic here potentially uh we have uh oh we okay I think this is the recruitment yes we just recruited Bakar okay there he is we got him boys he is an epic obviously whichever faction you pick is going to determine which epic you you start with he's an infantry garrison and skill tree so that sounds pretty good to me probably solid for PvP I would assume let's take a look at Bakar's skills here okay his rage skill this is his active skill rage cost of a thousand Bakar deals hero skill damage to an enemy legion so in this game legion is army okay so just think whenever you see legion just uh, as an enemy army okay so you deal 600 damage factor to that army and grants his legion rampage increasing all damage by 20 percent for four seconds okay passive skill all infantry units gain 10 percent attack and 10 percent defense that's physical attack that does matter in this game by the way when Bakar's legion is attacked they have a 10 percent chance to inflict glue on the target reducing their attack by 25 percent for four seconds okay so that's actually that's pretty cool you don't even have to be hitting them to apply a debuff to them that's that's uh, a long cooldown though 10, 10 second cooldown Bakar's garrisoned army takes 15 percent less skill damage hero skill damage while garrisoned in a city or stronghold and receives 15 percent more healing Ooh, I don't know how the battle formula works in this game but healing in a garrison sounds sketchy but I'll have to we'll actually have to see how the game goes last ditch strike this must be like the oh the additional skill okay the expertise when Bakar's Legion has less than 50 percent units remaining they have a 50 percent chance to inflict bleed on the target when counter-attacking dealing hero skill damage with 20 
or 200 damage factor every second for three seconds so an extra 600 damage factor okay so let's go ahead and confirm that thank you warrior before you leave come with me to the arena and take an artifact it will bring you great strength okay so we're gonna we're gonna have to help this little teddy bear over here let's pop ourselves into the arena okay let's draw our universal artifact compendium all right and bada bing bada boom we get the giant's bone all right now i actually don't think that this is sorry let me move my camera back over there i don't think this is actually uh guaranteed because i played other accounts where i didn't get the giant bone but i think two accounts now i've gotten the giant bone so i think maybe there's a higher probability that you get this no idea but this basically gives you five percent peacekeeping damage three percent legion attack and then when you activate the skill it deals a thousand damage factor in an aoe circle and a 40 percent chance to knock the targets airborne for three seconds okay so we have um knocking airborne sounds good but a thousand aoe damage factor sounds even better because that sounds even better than bakar's active skill by the way so i think artifacts are going to play a huge part in this game by the way uh if you guys don't know that's so far from what i've seen of this game there is no equipment system but there is an artifact system and, and you equip one artifact per uh army basically it might be two actually i'm not really completely sure quickly the ritual is almost complete demons get back to where you belong all right let's go ahead and fight them so let's go ahead and uh we will attack the darklings we'll create a legion let's go ahead and grab the car here and he already has the giant bone equipped okay so we're melee units we got those axemen that we trained he's a five second march speed so here we go we're making our way downtown walking fast faces past our homebound you can see there that he actually started hitting me before i even got there uh, but he started dealing more damage to me when i actually approached into melee range it looks like i'm losing so i'm gonna go ahead and can i use my active or my my artifact here there we go yes and ah bop i knocked him up i got the knock up there and i just one shot him that artifact is super powerful so that should give you guys an idea i think uh moving forward how powerful artifacts are gonna be in battle what's this it's power it gives me the creeps okay uh me too bakar me too let's go ahead and grab it it's a mysterious stone Ooh, isn't that how the um the beginning of uh genshin impact starts there's the you know the 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 the, the dragon storm terror or whatever and he's possessed by like this this red tear or something like that i don't know you guys probably i don't know if you've played genshin comment down below if you've played genshin impact okay we show the darklings who's boss thank you warrior we got uh this stone they were using it to control that bear oh yeah just bring it back into the city walls yeah just bring it back into town just right in the middle of the set what if it explodes we don't know what this thing is okay Agran says we've never seen anything like this before my lord it's a complete mystery give it to me I'm sure the ancestors will help me understand the link between this stone and the prophecy please send a scout into the mist if we're to conquer it we must know what dangers look like. well okay what is that I thought it was a human but I think it's a horse too is this a horse what is is that a horse I, I don't I don't know what's happening here to be completely honest with you I I need to get a better look at what what that scout actually is I'm very curious now so let's go ahead and build our sentry post the music is very good in this game the music the sound effects are incredible okay I can say that right off the bat the music is so good and to me I'm just gonna go off on a little bit of a tangent here okay to me music and sound effects are so important for a game because it gets me immersed it pulls me in okay I want to feel like I'm really in the world okay and if the music sucks if the sound effects are bad I just I don't know it's a subconscious thing but I really appreciate that so that is a, a horse human I think I, it looks to me like a horse human okay so we'll, we'll 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 revisit that later we'll figure whatever i don't know what's going on there okay go ahead and claim this continue to build our homeland okay so take the reins off boys let's uh let me let me play around here i'm tired of this little tutorial i'm a, i'm a veteran to these sorts of city builders okay i feel like i'm in agramar agramar i don't know how to say that uh, let's claim all these little side quests here we love to see that and and like let's just zoom in here like this this looks very good this looks very good i, I mean from a graphical perspective guys this game just is is way better than rise of kingdoms okay if you've ever played rise of kingdoms if you're new to the channel or if you're if you've been watching me for years now you know that what is over here like like what is this like this looks way better than rise of kingdoms i mean you can zoom right into the different creatures okay so that's a hammer troll we have some more uh darklings over here 
the trees are swaying there's grass like actual grass here this is another player we're gonna probably destroy them just kidding what is this oh a different darkling patrol okay I found this little random chest just in the open field oh and I found some resources okay and it's being guarded by darkling guards I mean the 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 variation in the open world little mobs and creatures here is not something that we really see in rise of kingdoms obviously I mean this really does it does feel like a sequel it does it does feel like a sequel oh what is that oh this is a this is a behemoth I found a behemoth I found a giant it's sleeping but the, there's mist here so I can't really see let's build a mint okay so let's build the mint we'll click down here and this will produce gold okay so we've got so far we have a three resources there's gold wood and gems obviously gems being the premium currency here in call of dragons let's claim that it looks like wood is maybe the easiest to come by wood and gold obviously they're the starting resources so they're probably the most basic of the resources in the game here we have um uh, some welcome emails look free stuff just by just by playing the game okay we got three gold keys for getting city hall level two and we get a bunch of gems and stuff for free that's gonna be huge okay so let's go ahead and upgrade our city hall five minutes okay we can use a speed up item okay that's 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 fair I guess we'll do that just for the tutorial we can build a spear range okay so that must be range units that's got to be like their archers right uh spear spear range we already got, we've already got the axe barracks let's see what can we see okay so there's all right so right now we only have tier one two and three they all look the same and then tier four and five look different I wonder if that's going to change later on the line I hope it does um I hope that they they you know make these look different I think they will to be honest with you I'd also love to see this as a 3d model I know other a lot of other uh city builder games now are actually 3d modeling their units which I think uh, you know makes a lot of sense it looks just it looks beautiful honestly so let's go ahead and uh we'll train some more of the axemen it'll take five minutes and we can train some spearmen uh and I was right these are the marksmen okay so we've got level one two and three look the same and then um tier four and five these are like minotaurs it looks like and honestly they're they're pretty cool looking I'm gonna give them that okay the troops so far are looking good for Wilderberg I'm liking it one of the complaints that I had um when I first played the game is a lot of the heroes I didn't love the way that they look we'll see if that changes as I play the game I think this is one of the few that I really loved his name is Craig uh this is one of the few heroes that I actually think looks really good in the game he just looks so evil and menacing uh and I just I love that oh oh and we just get him we just got him and he's got a cutscene. okay my man's got to hit the dentist but that's okay he throws down some dynamite he did he just intentionally what, what's what's going on here he's he's blowing himself up for fun okay so you get a free epic uh from that event very cool he's lit he's riding a little dragon it's like a little spyro except he's yellow that's kind of cute these guys have seen better days they've gone through tons of explosions I can tell this is a marksman engineering and mobility hero we have the fragmentation bolt um medium ranged attack here okay so you can attack at ranged even with your archers here okay so no no siege needed you can attack at range with archers deals hero skill damage to the target 600 damage factor physical damage factor and deals additional skill damage up to two nearby legions with a damage factor of 300 so a little bit of an aoe here on craig all right so we grab we got craig um that's cool we got throne of power behemoth hunter so these are some of the events uh eliana's crisis that's a that's a very good if you've played rise of kingdoms that's basically lohar's event okay uh we got emery's for the strongest lord event that's going to be uh coming around in about three days at the time of recording this let's see we've got we've got a we've got a good temple let's open up some of these chests and then we'll take a look at some of the heroes uh and we'll see how it goes okay so we got uh okay we're getting all the heroes boys okay this i think is a blue hero um but he's going crazy for ham he's obviously um a very large little fellow okay he is a a large young man this is a gathering command uh ooh, i almost said commander this is a gathering hero his second skill is a gathering skill uh you guys probably couldn't see that but that's chachka okay let's go ahead and continue opening up these chesticles and we'll see what we get here just a bunch of resources i got a little kella token all right let's pop up let's just do a 10 pull why not we'll just do a 10 pull will we see how we get something purple there and okay boys okay I think this is uh Waldir is that his name I think it's Wal Wal yeah something like that um but dude he just stopped all the arrows like mid-air that's actually kind of sick Waldir yes so this is the ice mage okay let's take a look at this dude this is if you started with Legion of Order you you started with this hero instead of Bakar from Wilderberg he has ice breath deals hero skill damage to the target and two nearby legions 600 damage factor magic damage factor so different than physical damage factor and inflicts gloom reducing their attack by 20 percent for two seconds small debuff a uh, small timer there that's pretty good Waldir looks like a, a generic uh oh we got two epics hello let's go boys this is pan okay this is a epic gathering hero I'm not gonna go over the the skills for the gatherers here wait a minute wait a minute 
we summon two pan hello is that the luckiest ten pole ever like what I mean I get that they're ga like the pans gathering but in the early game you want gatherers that's actually kind of big okay now for those of you who are wondering um this is not probably going to be my main account oh okay we got a we got our first pop-up bundle ladies and gentlemen apparently this is worth thirty thousand gems for five dollars because this is probably not going to be my main account I'm not going to be out buying anything today in this video but again subscribe to the channel if you want more information about all things call of dragons related okay let's go over some more of these heroes because we've got quite a few heroes here in the game there's way more heroes now than when I first played the beta and uh some of these heroes okay so Madeline is like a generic I I love the black and gold armor combo the sword looks incredible I guess she she passes okay Emery's was in the game before I love the weapon and I love the helmets don't love the chest piece we've got Hosk I do think he looks pretty cool okay this is a, a very very brolic looking gentleman right here we've got Garwood okay sort of a, a tree spirit we've got Lilia not a fan of her design I talked about that before this is Kinara okay she looks kind of cool she's like a deer spirit type of thing kind of looking like a hippie to be honest with you but that's okay we've got Thea just literal like angel over here with golden hair look at the golden hair look at the movement you know the other thing that's cool about this is all of these heroes are full 3d models we've got Indus okay so this is obviously like a woodland uh spirit we've got Nika with a little little dagger down there oh we got two daggers looks like a rogue or something like that she's a snow owl apparently don't really understand that at all but okay we've got Bakshi who's got a literal wolf on on his back very cool looking I I like this I actually do like this this design of this hero that's cool okay uh, we've got Nico looking like a typical engineer which as you can see has the engineering tree so makes a lot of sense there and we've got Velen I guess this is just a generic magical elf he's quite shiny okay he's silky we have Guanwin so you get her from starting with spring wardens she's your generic um archer for for the elves uh very you know Lord of the Rings theme and vibe here which I think is is fine I think her design is actually pretty good Alistair I'm not I don't love the design here he looks very run down he looks very I don't know just sort of like generic armor generic cape there's not really a lot of color with this guy he just looks depressed right and that's not what I want in my heroes very basic weapon uh didn't I didn't really love this but it is what it is Alwyn he looks like he's a possessed elf his eyes are green here he looks like he's like he's conjuring potions or something like that actually that does look like a potion so I, I get it he's kind of cool uh atheist not a fan of atheist he's got some sort of 1980s big hairstyle he's kind of like Johnny Bravo basically if you ever watch Cartoon Network and then we have Eliana she's okay she's like your generic uh I guess hero sort of human character I don't I don't know something like that we've got Ordo cool shield missing an eye okay he I I, I see the vibes all right let's collect our units over here we're gonna get jumping back into the game let's train some more uh spearmen and axemen we'll open up another silver chest I suppose we're just getting these for free now we'll just skip that we got a bunch of resources honestly that's fine that's what you want for the early game let's go ahead and upgrade our wall that's pretty generic that's gonna take a minute and 30 seconds can we build anything else we literally can't besides some cactuses do we build cactuses boys let's drop a little cacti over here uh, that's kind of cool okay nice we got our just roaming axemen uh so it really I mean the game the game looks good guys the game like the graphics are great they, they are actually unironically oh, wait a minute okay these are actually the heroes that I recruited we have Bakar and Waldir just walking around the city so there's a little bit of your immersion there so you actually get to see the heroes that you recruit walking around that's kind of cool we see a little gift here I can give him some sweet dew dew from a holy mountain really they literally put mountain dew in the game Th this is unironically mountain dew they legitimately put mountain dew in the game it has a refreshing sweet flavor and makes for a perfect gift it's true boys we love mountain dew I'm kidding this is diet cola oh let's hire a second builder okay temporarily you get two builders for free there are a couple different ways you can actually unlock a second permanent builder if you guys didn't know you can actually unlock a second permanent uh research queue I guess and uh that's really cool I like that a lot so let's level up our wilder hall and we're gonna speed this up here just for the purposes of the video I would not recommend you use spe using speed ups like this typically in the early game but the sands rise okay what is this is this another uh beneath the dust lies the road to glory okay so this is a larger city layout okay it's a larger city layout you can see that the grid expanded there a little bit 
uh and now we go from a settlement to a village okay so we've unlocked the foundry alliance center and the work rhinos so let's go ahead and take a look at some of that stuff one of the things that i miss about rise of kingdoms is the progression i like the early game progression and that's what i'm i'm so excited about call of dragons for because rise of kingdoms it's been around for years i've been max level for a long time and it's just exciting to jump into a new world it's exciting to start a new game with new players everyone's excited it's the beginning of the game like there's a whole fresh new community of players who are all playing together at the same time and i really like that i think that's always exciting so let's build this alliance center and let's see what else we can build we can build a foundry which produces ore so we finally have a third resource here you can see in the top right corner we get our uh oh a daily deal claim okay these are the daily bundles we actually are going to take a look at the bundles in a separate video but there are uh as you would expect from any city builder game uh plenty of bundles that you could purchase if you so desire to be a little bit of a little bit of a well uh, let's claim our ore okay the shaman hut this is how we're going to heal our units let's speed this up by a minute just so we can drop our shaman hut I want to see what our next unit that we get is but first let's take a look at some of these villages that we discovered around the map okay so here's a level one village let's visit a group of young elves are talking about the elven queen they've never laid eyes on her but they'd all love to see her excuse me says one as you walk past do you know what she's like oh yes of course I do I think she's um well I'm just gonna suggest a few history books to you guys you rattle off a list of books they scatter before you can even finish oh so I'm a, I'm a nerd now okay so let's claim some of our, uh, some of those free things we have an explorable village dude this just looks good man that's so beautiful the the, the design here is just so gorgeous okay let's see what we've got over here we've got another village under the tree you decide to rest under the shade of a tree to beat the midday heat as you approach you find that a group of elves have already beat you to it and are resting underneath it with their eyes closed I'm just gonna start talking to him one of the elves glares at you you feel a little uncomfortable and decide to move on okay I still got some free speed ups for that cool all right now let's let's zoom out here just to look at the map for a little a little bit so that's us and let's see how big this goes so we can go okay all right so th this is water I assume up here okay I I'm looking in the top right corner you can see the entire continent uh is is quite large and I don't know how far this extends but it's it's a lot you guys this is a big map dude this is actually and there's yeah this is oh my god I wish I could see the whole thing all at once is there a way to do that if there is I, I don't know a way to do that just yet but like these little these little giant let's go look at let's see what the giant bear is all about what is what's going on here just a giant bear he's got oh okay so that must be one of the um the stones that possesses him from the uh the, the darklings the from the cinematic remember that's the stone that we just literally brought back to our to our city settlement for some reason so basically you can take these behemoths I guess with your alliance and when you occupy the behemoth you gain the buffs just like a uh, a passive buff to the alliance all the alliance members and I also think you can deploy the behemoth in battle right so yes the behemoth actually has different skills I believe they use these skills on you when you capture or fight the behemoth you can see he has 300,000 health up here so this is sort of like a mini like world boss in a way which is not something that we see in games like rise of kingdoms which is pretty crazy I'm gonna change my name to Omniarch I'm probably not gonna play this on this server but I just want to reserve my name at least so nobody can pretend to be me here okay so we actually see there's mana as well so mana looks like it is the most difficult of the resources here here you can see that this level two resource chest okay it values golden wood at the same amount of a hundred thousand each but ore is worth 75k and mana is only worth 30k so mana is going to be the most difficult of the four to obtain it looks like and that's not including of course the premium currency that is gems over here so that is uh that's pretty cool let's jump into the heroes because we have pan so couldn't we theoretically okay we, we can actually add a skill to pan now this guy's going to probably explain that to us but that's fine let's go ahead and upgrade that and boom hero power goes up by 3k and pan looks like she has a healing factor on her active skill here we find a little camp out in the world and i'm just so impressed uh by the open world it really looks good guys it really looks good here we can unlock a this looks like some research increases training speed of all units so we get some free research there so let's uh let's join an alliance I suppose we'll just join up here we'll join the uh the good old alliance all right we've got some helps over here let's go ahead and help out these guys redoing some uh training I guess or research so guys if you didn't know uh, joining an alliance is going to help you in a lot of different ways in the game basically your alliance can help you speed things up so here's the alliance leader I suppose I guess they're telling 
behind me I should probably teleport over here can I do that can I click and can I click and relocate I can obviously I can't teleport in the middle of this uh this giant den it looks like but I can teleport uh basically wherever I want out here in the open field what are these what are those a gem mine okay so you can actually mine or collect premium currency for free in the game just by you have to unlock I guess you have to unlock the research that that's that's fair okay that's fair a lot of other city builders do that as well including rise of kingdoms let's I guess relocate let's see what it looks like when we teleport and here we come here comes the kid here comes the boy and there's lightning that's a really dramatic teleport and also very long that took a very long time to teleport so I can deploy a legion in the open field let's actually do this one thing that I noticed is that this is you know you, you can't mix axemen and spearmen because they have different attack ranges right so if I have all axemen in my in my army I'm I'm a melee obviously because axes I guess you can't throw them like in a cinematic but the spearmen if I pull that all the way up here you can see that my attack range changes to medium so we actually have two different attack ranges depending on which of the units that you use here in the open field so let's see if we can find ourselves something that we can attack here so we'll find a level one darkling right and I want to see how far is the medium range uh, uh combat here okay so here's the level one um we're going to attack the level one with our Bakar okay it says we're doomed I don't know about that let's send Bakar in and we are already attacking so that's that's the medium range right there we were already at medium range we died immediately allegedly okay so we died right away that they one shot us a level one Darkling one shot us right there just to be clear okay that's actually really embarrassing let's try hitting him with the with the axemen because we actually have uh let's see yeah we only have 56 spearmen and we have over 15 1600 axemen so that's what it is okay we had like no spearmen okay that's why we lost it's not because I'm bad at the game or anything it's just you know like, you know how it is okay so anyway let's come over here and now we in order to hit them we have to be right on them you can see my normal attack damage is is way higher than his and we immediately take the W we got a gold key for the first victory and I'm actually look at this look at the open field movement I'm actually running around I actually feel like this is like a it's almost like a third person like I mean this this guys this is way this looks way better than rise of kingdoms you know it does this looks good and with the PC client you can do the same thing like in rise of kingdoms you can select all uh and move them around and I feel like I'm actually going on like a little adventure I feel like I'm playing as Bakar. like this is kind of cool you know like uh in other city builder games a lot of times you can't really see oh oh and I could right click I can move around like it's League of Legends or something like that and I know you can do that in rise of kingdoms but man this is this just feels this just feels way better man this is like this is this is this is good this is good I'm liking this okay I'm just over here impressed like rise of kingdoms obviously if, you, if you've never played the game and this is the first video of mine you're seeing uh it's been the industry leader for open open world uh or city builder games for a couple of years now and this is basically just an improvement on that and and it's taken this long for a game to actually compete with it and wouldn't you know it's the same developers so that's that's pretty impressive I think it's actually a technically a different team but it's 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 the same people let's see if we can defeat this level two I'm gonna go over here and just immediately pop my active my uh my not active skill my my uh what's it called boom I hit him I hit him uh without even without even start like he started at like half health because I hit him with my artifact right away uh that was pretty that was pretty smart of me you see how I did that all right so now I'm setting out my army again and you can see here that the cooldown on the artifact has not reset yet so just because you go back to your city doesn't mean that the cooldown is going to automatically refresh uh that cooldown is a it's like a global cooldown no matter what you do you, you're not going to refresh that until the time is up it looks like so uh, I, I wonder how that's going to work in the future if they ever release heroes that maybe reduce the cooldown timer of um of an artifact or something there's a lot that they can do with a system like that so I'll be really interested to see how that works we got another ceremonial mask over here from the Eliana's event pop that open we'll see what we get here there's got to be an advantage to using this using this artifact before the battle even starts right because it guarantees that you hit him with the maximum amount of troops that you'll have so I wonder how that damage is calculated but it looks like I'm dealing more than double the amount of damage that he deals to me so that is good and we actually leveled up a car so here we have all the talent trees we can take a look at how the talent trees work so it looks like there's there's foundational talents no matter what you do you have to pick that before you can branch out and I like that I think it just it makes it it's simpler okay it makes it makes it very simple so it looks like there's a bunch of like smaller talents down here and then there's like these big talents that are like I guess probably pretty big milestone talents that you definitely want to get the hero's legion deals two percent more hero skill damage and has a 10 percent chance to gain 20 rage okay that's a pretty good talent so here we see a dark Eliana okay that's actually kind of cool so it looks like this Eliana has a backstory there's got to be a backstory to this hero here I really hope that they oh okay during the raid on Laviel Laviel Laville 
the dark lord manicus used the knowledge he had gained of eliana's fighting style to manufacture an army of magical puppets that recreated her appearance and abilities exactly okay so that's really cool there's actually a lot of different lore behind some of these heroes and that's what if you come down here there's season adventures there's also conversations these are like different I guess events that happen throughout the server but if you come down here to illustrations there's actually a whole different set of, of like lore and stories so if we go into artifacts here okay these are all the different uh, artifacts um and this is the giant's bone so the leg bone of a giant used by a warrior as a weapon the fractures across it are signs of its power and glory so that's pretty cool but there's also anecdotes which you unlock later but these are like little scraps of story I think like if we go into heroes there's probably different story behind each hero that perhaps you learn and unlock over time so here we see um some information about Craig so you could see uh when he was born to the nail breaker clan right so you can go through and like there's actually different story chapters for each of the different heroes which provides a lot of depth to these heroes that I think is going to be really important for players to really enjoy the heroes right because in a game like rise of kingdoms or infinity kingdom or land of empires they use characters or commanders that are part of real world history and here in call of dragons these are all fictional characters obviously they're orcs and elves and things like that but there's actually like to get players you know interested in them it looks like there's a lot of backstory which i think is going to be really important here we have chapter one stone turned to gold all right Ogren has asked to speak with you regarding the strange stone you found that was being used to cast curses okay my lord the stone you gave me is filled with a powerful dark energy our wisest shamans and most ancient legends can offer nothing to reveal its secrets can't go anywhere without hearing about it these days it's even been found in other places I've heard people call it mana stone it comes from the auger stone when the stars fall in flames mana stone shall rise first Tamaris gets covered in that creepy mist and now this stuff shows up everyone's scared to bits we ought to destroy this stuff right away chief just a moment take a look at this the light emanated by the mana stone brightens and fades a black mist swirls within it this black mist within mana stone is a manifestation of its evil energies do you remember that bear that we encountered outside the city the darklings had brought it under their control through some kind of ritual I'm certain that the power that they relied on was exactly the same as the power within this stone think don't think I'll ever forget it mana stone really is that dangerous we need to destroy it immediately the ritual was witnessed was not an isolated insolent who knows how many more of them are happening we can purify a mana stone rather than destroy it we might be able to free those poor creatures from its cause but that's just a guess we don't know if the first thing about a mana stone where do we even start if mana stone has indeed been corrupted it must have a pure natural state except for the blackness inside it mana stone looks very similar to dragon glass or any other volcanic rock i do appreciate that they're building backstory and lore to the game i think that's very important so for those of you who love lore and story great news there's going to be a lot of that in this game it looks like now let's claim our daily reward here i get to actually pick which epic hero i want a token of but it looks like it has to be one that I already have so let's get a token of pan because she is the gatherer oh we get two of them okay good she's the gatherer I think in the early game that's going to be important here they're asking for feedback uh this video is basically all feedback now that dark Eliana I didn't forget about her okay she's over here and it looks like if I defeat her I get or I have maybe the chance of getting a shard of Eliana okay or a token of Eliana you need 10 10 to summon Eliana okay so this is how you get her and it looks like you can only rally so you can only rally this is basically basically Lohar okay if you've played rise of kingdoms but I need a rally drum to launch the attack so that means I probably don't have whatever building is necessary to launch a rally what can we build here now so we can build a notice board okay so that's like for game updates and stuff like that it takes two seconds bada bing bada boom all right and then we have a Sears council so let's see what that is the Sears council okay so this is the research building okay the Sears are the uh the researchers so we can take a look here at the different research in the game so we have an economic tree and a military tree I can move my camera a little bit and if you guys remember when I explored that camp earlier I actually got conscription one for free so I actually got this before I even unlocked research but it's it still counted so that's that's pretty cool let's go ahead and uh we'll start ore prospecting I guess pretty sure you can get that for free by exploring more more camps but that's fine next we can build a beast pen trains wolf riders and work rhinos so this is kind of cool now here you can see that the cavalry units uh and the gathering units are all formed from the same building okay so the tier one here are the work rhinos which are the gathering units uh and then tier two are cavalry right so two different troop types um are produced by the same building so I wonder how that's going to work if you you know you really want to train more of your um work rhinos but you also want to be all simultaneously gearing up pvp units right 
so i don't know how that's gonna work in the late game we do have different designs for these and oh my god this actually looks real these good these look good i mean he's literally riding a an insane looking wolf so i mean yeah this dude looks sick i think the wolf riders look good and we can start to train some of these work rhinos all right let's summon some artifacts let's see what we get here for artifacts we got magic bomb throws a magic bomb at the legion after eight seconds the bomb explodes dealing damage to up to three nearby enemy legions with a damage factor of 900 enemy legion takes 15 percent less damage per additional target we can equip that magic bomb to let's say uh Waldir, i believe is a magic uh, hero right so it also gives some passive buffs as well let's go ahead and actually take a look at that well let's let's do a couple more draws here treasure hunter nice we get enchanted coins this is a gathering artifact it's the one of the most common ones in the game let's go ahead and open up another one and we get a bone cleaver this is um another cavalry pvp and assault so deals 400 damage factor physical damage factor and the damage is increased to 600 when your legion unit count is above 50 percent do we have any uh cavalry i don't remember who was cavalry i don't think any of them are cavalry but we'll just do that um let's draw two more we are completing a treasure quest over here apparently a side quest see what we get here and more enchanted coins This music is really peaceful that nice little flute in the background i gotta say that's, that's the good stuff right there one thing i do know for sure is that there's a lot for us to learn here in call of dragons and honestly i'm really excited for call of dragons i'm gonna be making more content about it on the channel so if you guys are interested in call of dragons definitely subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified the next time that i upload and while you're down there consider dropping a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it'll help get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other call of dragons players might see it comment down below your thoughts on call of dragons have you tried it yet or have you only seen youtube videos about it what do you think about the game and are you going to give it a try i would love to hear from you guys in the comment section below with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace